news out of the UK this morning. The finance minister there has officially been fired. Prime Minister Liz Truss holding a news conference at 9 a.m. expected to reverse more of her tax cut proposals. CBC's uh, Joanna Petrus is here with us uh, live from London in front of Downing Street. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Andrew. Well, just in the last couple of minutes, uh, the former, now former Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng just tweeted out uh, that he is uh, leaving his role as Chancellor. This was just in the last minute, and it is confirmed now that he is stepping down from the role as Chancellor. Now, there's, there's a lot been going on in the last 24 hours. Just uh, a day ago, he was at IMF Washington meetings. He flew back early. There were lots of reports early on the day that uh, he may be coming back to actually lose his role. This is obviously now being confirmed. But then again, there are lots of questions looking ahead as to the future of this government as a whole. Now, Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng were uh, very close. They were uh, instrumental in putting together this mini budget on September the 23rd that really sent UK markets into a bit of a financial tailspin. We saw that massive move in guilt, which prompted the Bank of England to intervene. Uh, the Bank of England's actual stability program is meant to end today. And lots of people were talking about the possibility of this cliff edge. What happens to these financial assets now that the Bank of England have stopped intervening? So the next leg of that is what the government plan on doing on the fiscal side of things. And the next scheduled fiscal event is expected to happen on October 31st. Whether or not we can make it to that point without further clarification from this government on what the fiscal plans are and now that the Chancellor has uh, actually stepped down, as we found out in that tweet just a few minutes ago, uh, is, is, is anyone's guess. But a lot of people are saying that they could be looking to do further U-turns on some of the key measures in that mini-budget, including uh, tweets to the corporation tax. They had planned to freeze it over the foreseeable future. Maybe some of those plans could be reversed as well. Dividend tax, they could make some changes there. And all of that uh, in an attempt to reassure investors that the public finances situation is under control. So lots of moving pieces here when it comes to the economy, public finances, and, of course, the political future of the prime minister. She is scheduled to speak here in a couple of hours' time, so we should be getting more messaging out of the PM uh, as to what those plans are. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.